Okay, so let's take a quick look at what this keyboard uh, has to offer. Um, some of the functions of the keyboard are um, obviously these function keys right here will control your profiles and you can shift between them by hitting the number keys which uh, you can set presets inside uh, the Razer Synapse program. Each preset has a different, uh, can have a different effect to it. Like for example, this one is a rainbow, it just shoots a rainbow across your keyboard. Um, this one actually lights up keys that you touch and uh, makes them disappear after a set amount of time. So I can go through each one of, each one of those and show you them all. So uh, the first effect is breathing. It'll turn the keys on and off. And for each one of these, I'll zoom in so you can see it. You can also set a second color. So if you wanted to go from green to red, or any color for that matter, you can do so. The second effect is uh, called reactive. Um, you can just basically touch a key and it will light up that key as you touch it. Uh, you can also set the duration to be shorter so that they turn off almost immediately. The third one's called Spectrum Cycling, which basically just cycles through all the colors of the spectrum, and it continuously does so and it never stops. The other one is just a static color, and you can change that color to whatever you want. Um, they give you these presets, and I'll show you the Chroma Configurator in a little bit. That gives you more options. Uh, there's also Wave, which just basically cycles the colors in a wave pattern. You can switch it from left to right to right, right to left. And there is also ripple. So when you hit a key, it can send a ripple across. And it's pretty neat. And obviously there's none too. So when you go to the configurator, you can change all these effects. Um, so you start with Ripple, and maybe we want to just make the, um, I don't know, maybe we'll just start with a static color, and we'll make all the keys white. And maybe we can add a second layer, so down here you can add another one and let's add the ripple effect and we'll let that be green so on top of the white whenever you touch a key you can make it green um, let's also go back to the static layer and let's make all of our F keys blue and you can see they're all blue it's hard to see, it might be hard to see on the camera so uh, maybe I'll make them a different color, red, so that's a little more obvious. Actually, we'll do one of the presets red, so that's a lot brighter. So there you go. Now the F keys are red. And you can even go a step further and maybe add spectrum cycling for all the bottom keys. Apply, and now the bottom keys are all going to cycle in their own particular color. And Let's do another level and we'll make breathing. We'll make the WASD keys breathe orange and cyan or turquoise. Let's see if that works. Oh, whoops, I hit the bottom row by accident. So I can remove those from there because I don't want them included in my breathing.
And so one of the other features that you can do is you can uh, change the program that opens it. So let's say you wanted to have uh, our new breathing WASD keys in bottom row open with a program. So you just click Link Program, and uh, then it lets you pick the program. And I'm already in a directory that I've used something for, and actually I have that assigned to something else. So let me fix that real quick. Let's unlink that. It won't let you do two profiles per program, which is good that's not what you want. And let's link it to Portal 2. So now, if you're on any other profile, I'll zoom in for this one, and you go to Open Portal 2, should change on its own. And there it goes. So that's kind of a cool feature for whatever program you want to use if you want to have special keys lit back up. I'll see, and now it goes back to normal whenever you close the program. Um, so if you want to have all that stuff happen automatically, you can do so. Um, and you don't even have to assign shortcuts to those. You can make as many of those profiles as you want to and not assign shortcuts to them because you don't think you only need to have 10. And then you can just link them all to whatever program you want. So the possibilities are pretty endless with that. Uh, finally, the last thing you can talk about is the battery. Um, I'm sorry, the brightness of the keys. Um, I kind of find this useful for in um, a dark room the brightness is very bright and it's really difficult to see the screen because the keys are so bright so I'll turn the brightness down for a certain profile and um, keep it low and then for a daytime one I'll turn it all the way up so that you can see it a little bit better and it's easier to switch between those than to use the hot keys up here because for one these hot keys do not have backlighting on them so that they're only F keys and you can't see which one is which unless you memorize them and that's probably one of the worst things about this keyboard is that they don't light up the secondary functions of any of these keys so instead of trying to memorize all those I just have different um, different profiles with different brightnesses um, makes it a little bit easier so that's about it